The Home Microbiome Project is an initiative aimed to uncover the dynamic co-associations between people's bacteria, the bacteria that live on your skin and in your mouth and in your guts, and, uh, and the bacteria that you find in your homes. What we really hope that this data and this project will enable us to show is that routine monitoring of the microbial diversity of your body and of the environment in which you live is possible. So when you're born, you're born sterile. And, you know, if you come out via the normal route, you're colonized very rapidly by your mother's bacteria. And then every decision you ever make throughout your life influences the bacteria that colonize you and creates your unique microbiome, that's your microbial fingerprint. We were able to use advanced sequencing techniques to reconstruct the genomes using some high throughput computing power here at Argonne National Laboratory. And what we found in the Home Microbiome Project was that when we went into um, seven different families from across the United States, different ethnic backgrounds, different socioeconomic backgrounds, that every single family left their own unique microbial fingerprint in the home. And indeed, when people moved home, and we even had a couple that moved from a hotel into a home, their microbial fingerprint came with them. So the bacterial communities in the new home were overwritten, completely wiped out by the bacteria released by that family into this new space. So what we're trying to see is the bacteria which influence our life, where do they come from? Um, we know that certain bacteria can increase your weight, they can make it easier for you to put on weight. Some bacteria can influence your neurological development, they can change the way your brain develops in young children especially. Um, we want to know where those bacteria that influence those processes come from. So by characterizing the bacteria that live inside our homes and the likelihood that those bacteria will colonize us, and the likelihood that our bacteria will colonize the home, we're starting to map out the dynamic interactions between us and these indoor environments. This really is the human ecosystem. You know, uh, the, the lion may live on the savanna, but we live in these built environments. And these built environments are now an essential ground for which to understand our health in, uh, in the 21st century.